Historic 1.2 million docs just dropped on Hillary and Obama as federal judge releases tsunami of information. The noose is tightening by Chris, Prissy Holly for VeteranAF.com. The noose around Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton's neck is daily tightening more and more over the past several months. The duo's treason against the United States has been uncovered where indictments are now being handed down by a grand jury against Hillary and Obama's henchman Mark Lambert who helped arrange the transfer of 20% of our uranium to Russia. As unsettling signs of Obama and Hillary's massive cover-up emerged earlier this week, a federal judge has just made a historic move, dropping 1.2 million documents overnight that no doubt has these D.C. swine crapping their pants. While Trump does everything in his power to drain the swamp, the task has been increasingly difficult as Obama and Hillary's minions are riddled throughout the White House, constantly doing the bidding of the previous administration and actively blocking federal investigations. But one federal judge is done playing around. Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton warns that this massive document dump will expose even more corruption from the deep state, warning that this tsunami of information will be something Hillary and Obama won't be able to defend themselves against. Conservative Daily Post reported with several investigations into former Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton's corruption already yielding results. Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton warns that a tsunami of information is set to expose even more corruption from the deep state. On Tuesday, Fitton tweeted that even more corruption scandals from the Obama administration are about to be released, no noting that the Justice Department handed over 1.2 million documents to Congress as part of the congressional probe into DOJ corruption prior to the 2016 presidential election. During his interview on Fox News with host Sean Hannity, Fitton said he believed a slew of corruption scandals involving both Obama and Clinton were going to be exposed very soon. Fitton said, uh, have the, we have the court ruling that the Clinton emails need to be released more quickly, so we're going to get all these Clinton emails that she tried to hide or delete. And then we had the court just yesterday talk about how we want the Comey memos because he wants to review the Comey memos, which are the genesis of the Mueller operation. Now we are going to find out more details about the FISA, the intelligence surveillance abuses. Fitton detailed a host of developments in recent weeks that federal agencies have launched new investigations into Clinton, the Trump-Russia dossier and cover-ups under the Obama administration. Last week, a federal judge ruled that the FBI must turn over all withheld documents to the court in a Freedom of Information Act lawsuit filed by Judicial Watch. Judicial Watch has also played a big role in exposing the discredited dossier, which was used by the FBI to obtain a warrant under the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act to spy on Trump and his former campaign officials last year. Fusion GPS hired Christopher Steele, a former British spy, to compile the dossier, which made numerous unverified claims suggesting that Trump colluded with the Russians to win the election. Clinton's 2016 presidential campaign and the Democratic National Committee paid nearly $9 million for the dossier, which was full of salacious claims that the FBI has admitted it cannot verify. In addition to that, Republican Chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee Chuck Grassley and Senator Lindsey Graham called on the Justice Department last week to appoint a second special counsel to analyze the slanderous claims in the dossier, which has been used by Democrats to tr uh, claim Trump colluded with the Russians in the election. Earlier this week, an 11 account uh, indictment was handed down on a top official with ties to the Clinton's Uranium One scandal. The scandal involves the Clinton Foundation receiving roughly $145 million to the Clinton Foundation in exchange for Clinton's State Department approving the sale of 20% of the United States uranium to the Russian nuclear company Rosatom. 
with Republicans ramping up efforts to expose the utterly baseless dossier. Reports confirming Obama's FBI used the hit piece to spy on Trump's campaign and multiple investigations into Clinton's pay-to-play apparatus at the State Department. We are finally seeing deep state actors and Obama allies held accountable for their corrupt actions. And Fitton said even more corruption is about to get exposed. Even though Obama and Hillary have managed to get away with their treasonous antics for decades, we shouldn't lose hope that one day they will finally pay for their crimes. Trump ran on the promise to drain the swamp, and so far he's fulfilled every promise that he's made to us. With his crackdown on illegals, bombing ISIS into oblivion, and constantly purging Obama's spies from the White House, there's no doubt that Trump is taking the necessary steps through the DOJ and Homeland Security to investigate Obama and Hillary's crimes to the fullest. Where these indictments handed down last week is an encouraging step in the right direction as well as an ominous sign to Obozo and Hillary of how crappy their life will soon be. Absolutely. Absolutely. They're getting to the bottom of this slowly but surely. It's, uh, it's all going to come out and she's going to be in Gitmo before we know it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.